Hi, welcome to Health, Wealth and Happiness. I am Sharika and today's topic is criticism. Now, there is always a lot of talk about criticism. We have disruptive criticism and constructive criticism. But we're not talking about that today. We are talking about criticism on a more personal level. Now, did you know that in most instances, when you see an individual and you, you find and you start talking about the things that you don't like about this person, it's usually a signal that you don't like these things about yourself. Now, again, we're not talking about criticism of someone's work or something that they created. We all know that this is a tool. And if the individual is grounded in themselves, they'll be able to say, okay, that doesn't apply to me, that's rubbish, or there may be some sense in this, so maybe I need to take a, take a second look. No, that's not what we're talking about here. We are talking about a direct attack on an individual's being, on the way they walk, the way they talk, the way they act or behave. Example. You're going about your business and you see someone walking down the street and immediately you can find 10 things that you dislike about this person. This is highlighting things that you dislike about yourself. So, the next time you're going about your business and you find that this happens, take a moment, look inwards and find out what's going on in there there are aspects of your being that you don't like it's kind of similar to what they call haters you know you see somebody doing something and you dislike them because they're doing that thing that is only because you dislike them only because you lack the courage to be you to do you or to do your thing. Now, if you make this looking inwards a thing, a, a practice, you'll find over time that other people's business is not so much a concern to you. And in addition, the plus is that you'll be happier, so much happier. Now, if you are someone who finds something negative to say about every single person, then you have a serious issue. You have a chronic problem. You need to do some serious work on yourself. This is no joke. If you find something bad to say or negative to say about every single human being, take a check. Do some praying, do some meditation, do some gratitude, stand in the mirror, nitpick yourself apart and then find reasons to love yourself again. Whatever you need to do, take some time to work on you. Self-acceptance is the basis for self-love. You've got to start there. Accept you for who you are and just take your time and fall in love with you, step by step. If you know someone that this video can be beneficial to, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up and share. Thank you for watching.